must open for me, for me is forever close. Thy port and mean and speech are strange, life thy claims don't impart. For I'm alive, and thou art dead, and thy eyes chill my heart. Days have passed since, but Lucifer comes up again and stays, just as before, spreading o'er her his clear translucent rays. In sleep she would remember him, and as before, all wish for the master of the waves is clenching now her soul. Send to me mild Lucifer, thou canst glide on a beam, enter my dwelling and my mind, and over my life gleam. He hears, and from the dire despair of such a woeful weird, he dies, and the heavens revolve where he has disappeared. Soon in the air flames ruddy spread, the world in their grip hold, a superb from the spasm of the chaotic valley's mold. On his locks of black hair he bears, his crown of fierce fire frames, he floats as he, as he really comes, swimming in the sun's flames. His black shroud lets develop out, his arms marbly and hale, he pensively and sadly brings his face awfully pale, but his big wonderful eyes gleam chimer chimerically deep, shows to an satiated spasm that but into dark peep. From my sphere hardly I come to follow thy voice, thy sight. White sun is my father and my mother is the night. Oh, come and upon thy blonde hair and thy world leave aside, for I am Lucifer from up, and thou wouldst be my bride. Oh, come and upon thy blonde hair, crowns of stars I shall crowd, and more that all of them up there, thou wilt look fair and proud. Oh, thou art beautiful as but in dreams a demon shows. The way thought thou had opened for me, hast opened for me, for me is forever close. The depths of my breast ache from thee, desire of thy fierce love. My heavy big eyes also ache when into them thine shove. But how wouldst thou that I come down? Know this, for do I lie? I am immortal, why thou art one of those that must die. I hate big words, nor do I know how to begin my plea. And although thy discourse is clear, I don't understand thee. But if thou wantest my flamed love, and that would not be sham, come down on this temporal earth, be mortal as I am. I'd lose my immortality for but one kiss of thine. Well, I will show the how much do for thy fierce love I pine. Yes, I shall be reborn from sin, receive another greed from that endlessness to which I am tied, I shall be freed. And out he went, he went, went out, loving a human fay. He plucked himself off from the sky, went for many a day. Meanwhile, the houseboy, Catalin, sly and who often jests, when he's filling with wine the cups of the banqueting guests, a page that carries step by step the trail of the queen's gown, a wandering bastard but bold. Like no one in the town, his little cheeky peony, that under the sun's dews, watchful just like a thief, he sneaks in Catalina's views. How beautiful she grew, thinks he, a flower just to pluck.
for watching. May we meet again.